Hi, let's talk about how to wholesale your products in shops. <laughs> I know it can seem um, really intimidating. It can seem like, oh my gosh, how am I possibly going to get my stuff into brick and mortar stores? It's not impossible. Let's talk about how you can do it. Before I talk about how you can do it, be sure to subscribe if you like enamel pins and small business stuff and just creative stuff. Yeah, subscribe because we have fun over here. Okay, so the first thing you have to think about is pricing. So this is $10 in my shop retail. So if a customer comes directly to me, they pay $10 for this pen. It's super cute. You should get one. If a shop orders this pen, I generally have a minimum and they have to buy a certain amount of these at a time at my wholesale price, which is 50% of my retail price. So it would be $5 for a shop but they have to buy um, a certain amount of them. So they're buying in bulk. They get a basically a 50% discount, which is pretty standard in um, industry terms for wholesale. That way the shop can mark it up to what you sell it for on your site. So yes, I am getting more of a profit for myself if I sell direct to customers, that's awesome. But if I sell wholesale, even though I'm getting less, I get a high number of orders because they're buying in bulk and hopefully I get return orders that are larger because they're buying in bulk. If you get like a $200 wholesale order every few days, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> you're still making a profit and you're selling through a lot of product and you're getting in front of people who would never have seen you in the first place. You're just getting more eyeballs on your stuff. So if you've got your information on your cards, people can come find you directly. So it's a really great way to just get your stuff out there, make a profit while you're doing it. Um, just make sure that when you are pricing your stuff, you're not pricing yourself out of wholesale. Okay, you wanna make sure you're still making a profit even at the wholesale uh, pricing. Okay, so let's talk about outreach. The first step of outreach is only reach out to stores that you think your stuff will do well in. So you want to do your research. You want to look at the shop, see what they offer, see what does well, check out their Instagrams, go in the shop, see who their audience is, if it's someplace local. Um, you wanna make sure that your stuff will do well. You know, the whole point of them buying your stuff is so that it will sell in their shop. So you want to show them that you've done your research, that you know that their shop will be a good fit for you and um, and you would be a good fit for them. After you've kind of done your research, find a shop that you think you do well in, you can ask them how to get in touch with their buyer. So you can reach out on social media, give them a call, stop in, but the buyer's gonna be the one that's making all of the decisions on what products are actually coming into the shop. So they are the ones you need to talk to. So if you walk into a store when they're super busy and try to start selling your stuff to the person behind the counter, they might not be the person that you wanna talk to and you're probably Probably annoying them right now so <laughs> um, you want to ask about how to get in touch with the buyer and when you do your outreach just make sure that you explain who you are and why you think you'd be a good fit and then do your follow-up um, don't be super annoying with your follow-ups don't email every single day give them some time maybe give them a call see if they've gotten your email uh, but you know wait a couple weeks give them some breathing room because everyone's really busy right now especially um, getting close to the holiday season so you want to reach out um, further in advance with outreach make sure that the shop is a good fit you ask for the buyer and then you follow up in a polite and unannoying way okay next thing to talk about is marketplaces so there are places like fair bulletin tundra lots of others and they are places where shops can come in and look for individual uh, makers to carry in their store. So this is really great for, uh, it's basically like an Etsy for shops. <laughs> they can come in and stock their store in one place, order from a whole bunch of different makers at once. And it's fantastic. So most of them you have to apply to. So they have to know that you are a reputable business and that you'll ship stuff out in time. You have good products that you'll fit for the shops that are on there platform. It's all about being a good fit for the shops so they can sell through the inventory and then you can get more orders. <laughs> so the thing about those is that they do take a percentage. So 
basically you are paying for the opportunity to be on there and to be discovered um, on their platform. So I know for FAIR, the opening order from a shop, they take 25%. And for the any subsequent orders, they take 15%. So um, just be sure, again, that your pricing is solid and you can afford to take that percentage hit. So marketplaces are similar-ish similar, similar -ish to having reps. I've never worked with a rep before, but uh, sales reps for... Um, basically wholesale they take a percentage as well and then they go around to different shops that they know and they have a relationship with and they basically sell your stuff for you they are your advocate they are your sales rep to different stores so that's another avenue as well um, kind of along the same lines as a marketplace but not really I think reps will probably argue that they are better because they have those relationships um, but they are two different avenues to take for sure Okay, so if you want to go to the next level with wholesale, you can open your own wholesale store. So having your own um, online wholesale shop where everything is a wholesale price. A lot of people make it password protected, so they will send their retailers credentials. So you can have kind of a, an outreach spot on your website say oh are you interested in wholesale people can reach out to you and then you can send them credentials they can log in and then they can buy directly from you this is great because you don't have to worry about those extra percentages you can handle everything on your own and yeah you don't have to worry about the percentages or anything like that you do have to do all of the outreach and marketing to make sure that you get people to that website that's the key <laughs> there are also apps that you can use with Shopify that uh, make it so they can log into your actual site and then see the prices for everything that you have wholesale um, that way and then they can check out that way too which is um, really neat but just know that again you are gonna have to be doing the legwork you are gonna have to be reaching out and getting people to that site as opposed to a marketplace or a rep which are places, you know, a rep is going out to the stores for you and the marketplace, the stores are coming to this one central location. So that's just something to think about. Another thing you can do if you want to kind of up your wholesale game is to do trade shows. Trade shows are kind of the bread and butter for a lot of industries and there are some shops that go and they will spend their entire yearly budget and buy all of their stuff at a trade show, <laughs> uh, which is amazing. There are a lot of people that have a lot more resources about trade shows. You can check out the Proof to Product podcast and uh, they have a membership site and a course all about trade shows. Things to think about when you are doing a trade show is make sure you have a line sheet. So you can kind of, uh, you can Google different examples of line sheets, you know, basically little pictures of everything that you have with their SKUs, quantities, any extra little stuff. So retailers can look at it and go, I want this, 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 and order it. Um, you can also make catalogs for that. Not totally necessary because a lot of times your website kind of acts as a catalog. Uh, but if you want to go that extra mile and show retailers what you have, then you can absolutely make your own catalog of your products. And I think that'd be really cool. And I would love to see it. If you have one, <laughs> put it in the comments because I think it's so cool. So those are kind of next level steps, kind of opening your own um, a wholesale store and attempting a trade show. I know they have, uh, the fair did a virtual trade show that did really well for me this year. It was basically just putting out kind of discounts and they put a big push, uh, behind it for, they like, uh, matched discounts too. And that was really cool. Um, so the virtual trade show worked well. And then, yeah, look into line sheets and catalogs if that's something that you are interested in. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions about wholesale, uh, please leave me a comment down below. And yeah, we talk about wholesale inside my own course, Enamel Pins 101. And uh, if anyone has specific questions about it that have come up on um, monthly calls, we talk about it there. And yeah, I think doing wholesale is fantastic for your business. It's just another revenue stream to have. It's another way to get product out into the world and get yourself in front of other people. And yeah, I think it's fantastic and I think you should do it. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.